Hello, my name's Elizabeth Hallows and I'm a physiotherapist and a freelance moving and handling trainer and advisor. And I'm here to show you some of the slings that have been produced by the Osprey Sling Company. The sling we're going to use in this demonstration is the Deluxe Sling. Just hold it up so you can have a look at the shape of it. We're going to use the Deluxe Sling here to hoist Darren from this chair into his wheelchair. I'll show you how the sling fits how to use it with the hoist and how to take it out. This sling is available in nine different sizes, three child sizes, three adult sizes and also three bariatric sizes. In order to get the sling behind and slightly under Darren, I need to ask him to come forward. Before I do that, I'm going to gather the sling up. The label and the straps need to be away from his body, so I'm just going to use my hands to gather the fabric up and then if Darren needs help to come forward I can use a sling to do that to help him. I'm going to slide or drop the sling down behind his back and with my fingers on the outside of the fabric I'm just tucking it very slightly under his bottom. It needs to just tuck slightly otherwise as we lift him up he will feel as though he's going to fall out of the sling and it won't be comfortable. I'm going to leave the folds of the sling low down his back so that there's no resistance to me pulling the leg pieces down his legs. But Aaron you can sit back now. I need to think about my posture for the next bit because I'm going to be working quite low down so it's necessary to kneel down. Usually people find the best position is one knee down, one knee up. Gives you a wide base of support. And I'm going to unfold the sling fabric down the side of Darren's legs. Now I want to be very careful that I don't shear his skin or make it uncomfortable for him. So I'm just going to use my hand to slide the fabric, which in itself is quite slippy, down the outside of Darren's leg. And then I need to get it underneath his thigh. And if he couldn't lift his leg, I would help him just to rest his foot on my leg like that and what that's done is just open a little space underneath for me just to slide the sling through again with as minimal shearing or friction that I can manage okay there Darren same thing again on the other side So, I'm going to just use my hand to slide the sling down the outside of Darren's leg, then raise his foot onto my leg like that, give me the space just to slide the material through and under Darren's leg there. I'll just come back round the other side. I'm just going to check that I've got these sling, this piece of the sling at the same height and I think this one needs a slightly lower position down on Darren's leg there. Now I'm able to ask Darren to sit forward again or help him to do that and just reposition the back of the sling and the shoulder straps are just looped around there. Okay so I'm now going to pass the leg straps through there through the modesty strap what that does is holds Darren's legs together as he's hoisted up. If we didn't have that, as we hoisted, Darren's legs would be really wide apart and that could be quite uncomfortable as well as potentially quite undignified. So through it goes like that. Darren, would you mind holding those for me just so it's clear what I'm doing? And then I'm taking the long leg strap on each side and passing it through that short blue one on that side and that short blue one on that side. Oops. Okay, it's really important that we realise that these short blue straps here do not attach up to the hoist. It's done occasionally by people in, by mistake and it results in a really unsafe lift. So obviously you only use these straps to attach up to the hoist. Which ones will you choose on the legs? Well, as a general rule, we use long leg straps, either the longest or the second longest. That's so that we bring the person forward at the top and their legs can hang down slightly. So for Darren, I'm going to use the yellow shoulder loops. I think that if I use the shortest ones, I will end up with the spreader bar too close to his head. So I'm going to go for the yellow loops at the shoulders and I'm going to go for the longest blue loops at the legs. 
Once you've worked out what's right for each service user, that should be written down in the handling plan for everybody's reference. OK, Darren. Next job is to fix the sling to the hoist. And I'm going to use, as I said, the yellow shoulder loops. I'm going to keep a firm hold of this spreader bar. It's still unstable and likely to, uh, to move. I'm just going to fold the blue strap away as I just fix the yellow strap on, as so. At the legs, I'm just going to use the long blue loop there and there. As we lift Aaron up in this hoist, it's really important to check one, that all the loops are firmly fixed onto the hoist where they should be, and secondly, that the straps are not attached around anything that they shouldn't be. And you can see here that, as, as sometimes does happen, the strap has become attached around the arm of the chair, so we just need to obviously take that away. It's quite, it does happen, and it also occasionally happens that people forget to take things like wheelchair seat belts off. Right, Darren, it's starting to lift now. Does that feel okay to you? Yeah. The, ho the hoist now is just lifted, Darren, off the chair. And what I want to do at this stage is just be sure that he's safe and comfortable in the sling. As I lower him down, I want to get him to the back of the chair. I don't want to have to do another manoeuvre to reposition him once he's down. Again, I think I just need to judge the chair, bring the chair just a little bit further forward down. Is that okay? It's fine if the chair starts to tip. What that tells me is that Darren's back there is against the back of the chair and that as he comes down, I've got him right to the back of that chair. Once you're happy with his position in the chair, come and take hold of the spreader bar because again it's ending up very close to his head. Darren are you feeling so you're far enough back in that chair? Now I do just want to show you how to get this sling off. The first thing to do is to take the leg straps away from each other and through that yellow loop. Rather than just pull and drag which could cause some discomfort or even shear the skin there's a kinder way to do it. If you lift your foot again for me Darren if you fold the material of the leg, the leg uh, loop away from the person's skin and keep pushing, rather than pushing in, push away right to the back of the wheelchair. It's helped with this sling because the fabric is so slidey. It's actually not as hard as it could be with, with some slings. So again, Darren, if you just put your foot on my leg for me. So I'm going to fold it away and push. Thank you. Now, I don't want to lose Darren's position in this wheelchair, so I'm going to ask him to keep his bottom to the back and just guide him or ask him to sit forward while I pull the sling out. And you can see that that was quite easy, despite the fact that it was tucked nicely under your bottom. OK, thanks a lot, Darren. As well as the deluxe sling in this range, there's also the deluxe comfort sling and the bathing sling.